Hello everybody, I'm Banix and welcome back to Tyke and Sons Lumberco, a fan-made game made by Mixlos. So let's, uh, let's get straight to the point, let's continue from where we left off. So what's our current task from Tyke? We are supposed to get him a mix shieto, okay wait, translator. It's mix kieto, kieto, mix kieto, yeah. Mix together from your mother's coffee shop in the town nearby. All right. So now, uh, in the last episode, we built these guys and these nuts. <laughs> uh, trees, which we can widen by spamming W. You die. You die. You, you die. die. Oh, visitors! What? Polar gl is glad to have visitors. Polar is very lonely. Huh. A beaver. Yes. Are you here to destroy Polar's beautiful flowers? Don't lie to me. I know, I know a plant killer when I see it. I'm going to avenge all the trees you have chopped down before. This will be your end game. Oh. All right. Here we go. Uh. We dodge and weave, dodge and weave, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Oh fuck. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Shut the fuck up. Water? Whee! Uh. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. There is not much, ex much explanation over here. Okay, here we are. W! Oh, fuck. Please, 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 robot, let me leave. Die! W for the win! Now I know why uh, they chose W. W for the win! Because it means W for the win? Oh yeah! Hey! Nice. Coconut. Let's plant more trees. Wait, I should ha go harvest them. Okay. Magic Cave reopens next Saturday. Keep out, keep out, keep out. Pay 200 coins, get a pro. Thanks for the lumber, bitches. Something's gotta be clickable over here. I mean, you cannot tell me something's not gonna be clickable over here. I need the money. Hey, frog. How about you give me the pro for fucking free? Oh. Um. I don't like how far away I'm going. Okay, good. Beavers. Oh. Golden acorn? Dolor! Dolor! Oh, hey, Mr. Terrifying. Oh god. Oh god, that's pay 25 feathers get a crazier face. What do you want? Sell your lumber for 5 for 5 coins each. Oh, space. Die. Die. What happened, bro? I just don't get it. Why does nobody want to play my mini game? I spend so much time creating it. I can play it as long as it doesn't involve anything death, death-like, out of order. Three. You know what? I shouldn't go that far yet. I should. You pricks! Get out! Get out, you little shit! Red Lumber. Get out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my way. 
Oh god. Oh what the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ, you look terrifying. Curry Wurst. Curry Wurst 2019. 2019. King Yummy. Welcome to the best restaurant in the town. No. Why is our food so good? Because of a special ingredient, the golden accord. Hey, I have one. How much are you gonna give me for it? But that's the only reason why people love this place. Customer payouts with items, not coins. Fuck you. I have coins, I don't have items. That being said, I hope you enjoy the food. Guten Appetit. Oh. 60 good rocks. Curly Rambazamba. Finn mix aus unser feinsten curry specialized spezi spe si al taten dazu pompes und eine mullet milch. Yeah, let's move on. Just over. F uh, okay, let me plant this. Chilper. I was a real beaver once. Ah, I'm just kidding. Can you do me a little favor? I'm slowly melting. Could you bring me a little bit of, of snow? Bring me about 20 chunks. I'll reward you, of course. How do I bring you? Shit. Oh, I cannot. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh! Lisa! Hello there, Mikey. I've noticed your father's sweet little lumber company has been going... ...not so well. Well, not to say our family isn't successful. There are loads of customers throwing themselves in left and right for my delicious coffee and treats. These, don't, these pies look sick, I've gotta give you that. Say, I'm feeling extra nice today as sales as have been all so high. Let's make a deal for a free coffee to go. If you beat this mini game, I'll hand you over a free coffee to go. Sounds good. Give it a try. No. I wanna see what's here. Okay. Um Retrotopia. Johnny, welcome to Retrotopia, home of the best selling video games. Okay, that's actually a pretty good name for a game company. Johnny, choose a level and beat it to get a really neat prize. Is the prize my death? Level 1. Prize. Wooden frog. Paper plane. Green pipe. Gold. Alien. Uh-oh. Get five flowers. There is something terrible going on here, isn't it? No, I have that feeling that something's either going to jump out at me. Oh god. Not to the back. Uh oh. Oh god, I don't like this. Oh. Well done. Okay. Okay. Congrats, here, take your reward. Wooden frog. 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 Get it? Get five. What? Oh! You an enemy? You a fucking enemy? I'm going to dodge your fucking shit! <gasps> Fuck! Somebody's calling me. I'm back! Hopefully nothing happened. Mother! My sweet, sweet dear mother has called me to ask about school. But... Oh, come on! What the f- <laughs> Fucking bird! You know what, I'm just going to go straight. Can't catch what's not there. Fuck! Yes! Well done. And I get a fucking paper plane.
All right, that's enough for today. Let's go with the... Okay, let's go with this minigame. Minigame time. Control the Robo Vatress with A and D. Collect snacks and drinks. Customers on your left want drinks, while the customers on your right want snacks. You gotta remember that. Get to fa 250 points before the time reaches zero, alright. This is for all the people out there who don't know anything about food. Snacks, drinks, exotic butters! Oh, oh! Fucking take it! Okay, I'm not making this out. Too bad. One more point, you fucking... Time to get serious. Super. Finally. Here you go. Coffee to go. Wait. Get me a mixed shadow from your mother coffee show in downtown. Alright. Oh yeah. Okay, that's all. I am currently empty inside. Wait a minute, this is also another shop. What's this for? Item shop. Mark! Welcome to the best item shop in town. Time to spend your coins on some rare items. Oh god. Oh god. Big saw. Old saw. Bamboo. Glass cage. Axe. Axe. Goodbye. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. It's time to harvest the wood. Uh oh, okay, I broke it. I was too fast, I agree. What's up boys, how's it going? I ordered a initiator, not a regular. You really need to listen closely, how could you, any customer get satisfied with our work? So, well I never tried one of these, let's see how it tastes. Um. <laughs> That's not me, by the way. That's more than enough. Okay, no wait. But l oh, I fucking didn't read it. What was? What did that say? Okay, but let's not talk about this incident anymore. You have m important work to do, son. son. We actually have a customer, a strange bird who loves rocks. He wants to build a. He wants you to build a rock farm. This is important for our reputation. For all, if you fail this, I will ground you forever. I would help, but I'm way too busy complaining over the simple things in life. Like weird tasting coffee. <laughs> <coughs> now go! And make me a proud beaver. Yes, father. I will make you the proudest beaver you've ever seen or been. This rock farm. What's up, bitches? Do I just buy a flower pot or what? Ropes. I'm not trying to hang somebody. Who do you think I am? I use guns first. A flower pot. 20. Mine. Thanks, Mark. Rotten fungi. Oh yeah, that's my style of living. I see, I'm a man of a culture as well. Good job. Oh yeah, Seabill, an old family friend, wants to know you better. He's invited you to his place, the birdhouse. I've just gone there, Bill. Couldn't you... Seabill, couldn't you say that sooner? I was just there. What the fuck happened with this tree while I was gone? Seabill. It's so nice to finally talk to you, Mike. Your father has always kept you safe in the safe in the cabin. I only met you once back when you were a fetus. Oh God! 
maybe a little older than that. Yeah. I'm an infant. I'm sure you will meet many nice people now that you can explore freely. Yeah, your father has an obsession with safety. Thinking the world is dangerous and whatnot. But trust me, funny things happened to, happened to him too, back when I was a young lad traveling the sea. I retired from that years ago. I own a company now called Seabill Industries. Trademark. We build robots and ship them all over the world. You could say that in some way, sea traveling is still involved. We build robots and we ship them all over the world. Holy shit, Seabill is responsible for the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. <laughs> Here is one tip from me. If you want to start your own company. Okay, but no, listen. Don't do or make anything people are asking for. You'll only get in trouble. A few years ago, I designed special robots all for myself with the intention of making my closest friends happy. Special robots. I designed them to reflect their personality and look, but it only got me into trouble. I'm not getting into detail here. I want to set up a rant. It's a project from an artist to a future artist. You seem like someone who will take a note of that. You seem more attentive than Mike. I'm glad that I had the chance to meet you today. Hopefully we can work this out into a good friendship. He is absolutely 100% somebody who is responsible for the fucking robots that are trying to kill me. And I know something he doesn't want me to know, which is that he murdered four fucking children. No, five. If you don't mind, I actually have a task for you. You, li you beavers like working, right? Yes. My crap house at the beach need a talented builder to decorate their home. They asked me, but I'm really busy. <coughs> All the time. This is your opportunity to show me how skilled you are. There are... There may even be a build of multitasking required. Really, can you help them? That would be really neat of you, of course. Finish your pie first. No one should ever work when they're hungry. I don't trust Sibo one bit. I really don't fucking trust you. He has a fucking elevator. Hold on. Sister location confirmed to be in fucking Tyke and Sons Lumberco. Can I can you help the craps please? No! You are going to fucking kill me because you have murdered six children. I am making opinions right now. Oh my I'm going to take apart your house for that son of a bitch. You won't like a Fucking bit when I'm done with you, you big fat piece of shit. Crap, I'm just chilling in the sun. I see people losing money here quite often. You might find some of uh, it in the sand. Okay. Oh, look, a palm tree over there would make a big difference. Where? We are not about our cocktail powers here, but simply missing the needed materials. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh! Rock lover, this isn't the end of it, more rocks are coming, hooray, one good rock, eight mini rocks. Okay. So we want a cocktail bar here. Okay, give me a moment, I'm going to go get my bamboo. My Five. bits of bamboo. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Item shop, thanks Mark, a lot. Really appreciate it. You have no clue. What's this about though? It's fucking... Okay, but I... Like, seriously... Bill... Billzo... Billy... Uh... Billy... Baton... Billy Club... Club Billy Goat... He... He Goat... Goat... Carmelile animal billy stick fucking what? Why do I keep on placing the fucking
Huh? Palm branches? Oh, fuck you. Okay, thanks for the rocks! Okay, I'm pretty sure these guys drop palm branches. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. I am Mike, I build. Yo! How's it going, bros? We building over here. Yeah, that's right. I built your fucking home. You pay me for it. Okay, we need palm bread. Oh. Oh, my teeth. Oh, fuck. I just ate sweets off. Ah. Oh. Do item shop sell branches? No, they don't. Okay, well, uh, fuck you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mark. Speak to me when you start selling the stuff I actually fucking need. Rotten fungus. Me and the boys eating fungus. Ship parts. I will ship you to Brazil. Give me fucking palm branches. Give me fucking palm branches. I am gonna fucking kill you if you do not give me palm branches. Oh yeah! I don't have any branches, how do I get branches? Okay, let's check the wiki real quick. Um, so... You can... From what I've seen, you can actually... Get... Palm branches from, uh, palm trees, yeah. Not all of them. But enough to make a di big difference. Yes, finally! I can enact my plan of building a palm tree. Thank you for your help. Thank you. You know, we could... We couldn't have made it without you. We still had a robot. Oh, fuck. Okay, I know where this is going. Um, a robot is going to fucking try to kill me now, doesn't it? Yes, if we had our ro that robot. Huh? Alright, you weren't there when it happened. But that's weird that no one told you about it. Yes, that's weird. A few years back, the robot industry was blooming. Booming. Almost everyone got a machine to perform tasks. Siebel actually found the time to create a few robots all by himself. Okay, I know where this is going. He gave them to some of his close friends in the friend zone, which we were a part of. A robot that was called Summercraft. She was designed to find treasure, build houses and act as a companion. Sometimes it felt as if she was alive, not like a robot at all. But we got in complaints. Some told us that Summer Camp was sneaking around. It's been other heavy. Even Chipper called us out one day. He thought that Summer Camp was a star. Oh, fuck. Ah, okay. After Chipper disappeared, people assumed that she was responsible. We had to destroy her. We went with her to the highest cliff, saying that we need some ice for our cocktails. We gave her a little push, and that's it. The moral of the story is that you can make cocktails even without ice. True. Some people claim to have sighted her during last spring. That's why they call her Spring Crab. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. Anyways, thanks for your help again. We will s tell uh, Siebel what great job you did.
Hi, it's me. In the rest of the video, probably, uh, my mic completely broke down and from that point on, there was no audio, only a little faint sound of the widescreen. I have no idea how that happened, it was probably me kicking a cable which broke down the cable which was connected to my microphone or the microphone just imploded. But from this point on, there is absolutely no audio except for my quick voiceover. So um, I'll start from... Tyke also wanted me to complete any task that Siebel asked me to do, because of the money, of course, and asked me, as my another task, to build a Chipomet 2.0 today. I then went on to collect all the materials I needed Also, building the Chipomen 2.0 was the last thing I had to do that day. Except for, of course, surviving the night, but that was a different story. I then promptly start the night cycle and immediately get to searching for the animatronics. Of course, right now there is nothing because the night only just started. Get introduced to a new mechanic, which is the door in the middle of the room. The volume really started to spike up for some reason and everything was really loud, so I remembered that moment as pure shock. Then my game went completely deaf on me. And here you can see uh, the crab, the summer crab, actually enter the front door. By that time, I realized that there were two new animatronics and started to freak out even more. And I would say that by far the most unnerving thing about the night section is actually going to the up to retrieve the batteries. But yeah, by far the scariest part of the night is probably going back for the battery. Because you're leaving your house completely vulnerable to an animatronics. And as you can see, a weird frog with a police head comes on as Tyke is trying to end the conversation, quickly attempting to tell him that he is under arrest. That is actually it, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, almost two months long video, because it was actually not a lot of work, I was just too lazy to do so. But I, anyways, I still hope you enjoyed it for now, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll perhaps see you in the next one if I even put up a next one. Goodbye.